fine. So now we will do some hands-on part. I will show you some more things related to formatting and then give you an introduction to the lookup function. Formatting data that we have been looking at is all based on certain conditions so far, right? Based on certain conditions. Now, let's just take a few minutes to understand just normal formatting of the data, okay? This is my data. Okay, and there are a few steps that I'm supposed to uh, perform here in order to format this data. Not conditional formatting, just general formatting. Just let's say uh, to present it, to present the data in a better way. So this is like going back to the basics. First, we need to autofill the employee numbers into cells A6 to A8. So A6 is this up to A8, we need to automatically fill in the employee numbers. For that, we have the flash fill option in Tableau, isn't it? So this, this icon here represents something called as flash fill. So quick analysis tool. All I need to do is go to this border corner and over there on that handle, do a double click. It will automatically fill in the values. So, so Excel is a very intelligent tool. It can understand the patterns and it can replicate the patterns. It can, you know, fill in the series. It can fill in the series. Then we have, what is the next question given to us? Set the columns width and rows height appropriately. You can notice that in some of the columns, the names are truncated, like hourly rate, uh, whatever, this is all truncated. It's not very clear. So in one go to set the column width for everything, you can, just start with the column, first column, and just increase the size, okay? Select everything and then double click on the edge of any one of these borders on the border. Between two columns, you can see a line, right? So anywhere we can go ahead and double click. All of them will automatically adjust in such a way that the whole data fits in, okay? Now here I will reduce the size given to A. We don't did not give so much, I'll reduce it. You see neatly it has automatically arranged. Now these three are not looking so good, each one with a different column width. Suppose you would like to fix the column width, then you have to go to format option in the cells group here, column width, I'm going to adjust and increase it to 25. Too much, 25 is too much. Okay, you have to check it relatively, you have to change it. Maybe 15 would be sufficient. Okay, next. The row height, row height also has to be adjusted. So I will select all the rows and in similar fashion, I'm going to double click here between any two row numbers. You can go and double click. The height of all the rows in the selection will be adjusted appropriately. Next, third statement, uh, third question is to set the label alignment properly. So these are the column headers, right? We need to set the alignment. There's no specific uh, request here. Just properly we have to set it means let us center align. This is a group on the ribbon that talks about alignment. This whole thing talks about alignment. So I want it to be middle align, center align. So I'll click here. All of them move to the center. Payroll that you notice, right? Payroll. Let us make this as the heading of the entire table. So rather than having separate columns, payroll should become one heading here. So what we can do is we can merge all the columns, merge and center. It will combine all the cells and it will also move the text to the center like that. I will make it slightly, I will make it bold. You can see the font group. Okay. And I'm going to give it a background color, fill it with yellow or whatever color of your choice you can use for formatting. Okay. And you can color it. All right, what next? Use wrap text and merge cells. I've done that. Apply borders, grid lines, and shading to the table as desired. So we've given shading to this particular cell. This is shading icon. Okay, similarly, let's say all the cells I'm going to select. And this is table borders, sorry, the border to the range of values. So when you click here, there are different types of borders we can give. I'll use all borders. So you can see the borders have appeared nicely. To this payroll, 
I'm going to give a thick outside border. Okay, and to this also, this whole thing, just a thick outside border. And uh, these headers, let us highlight them by giving them a shading. So maybe like this, we will highlight them. Okay, so like that you can explore the font, the alignment uh, group, and all the features that are there in these two groups. Next, format cell B2 to short date format. This is B2, is it? Column B and row 2. We need to change this date representation and we have to show it in short date format. So what to do? If you have to change the format of a field, the let's say the data type or how it presents the data, you select it and go under the number group here now. Okay, here it is custom. I will change that to short date. If I use short date, it will come like this. And if I go and use long date, it will show you the name of the month. Here, when the space is not sufficient, this kind of representation is something that might that you might come across pretty often. So if you see these hash symbols like that, it is simply meaning that the space is not sufficient to show the data in there. Okay, space is not sufficient to show the data in there. So I will go here, here, this is column B, right? So I'll go to this line here, double click on it. The width will get automatically adjusted. So when you double click on these, the width of the column gets automatically adjusted. How to give the border is the question. You have to select the data around where you might want to give borders. After selecting the data, where do we have the borders feature? We have it over here. In the font group, we have it. And here, this particular icon is for borders. And when you click on this drop down icon, you can see a lot of options will come up. And I've, uh, I've taken this all borders option because I wanted borders around each and every cell in that particular selection. Okay, Anushta, is it clear? That's how you give